Hey there, my name is Anthony. Today I'm going to be telling you about the use of student ePortfolios using Google Sites and how Hapara Teacher Dashboard can help in this regard. Currently, I'm the ICT and Learning and Teaching Leader here at a primary school in Melbourne, Australia, where my goal is to assist and lead all students and teachers in our school community in the powerful use of technology for day-to-day -day learning. I'm also a part-time educational consultant where I've worked with a number of organisations towards their digital transformation journeys. I also enjoy speaking at a number of conferences during the calendar year and expanding and connecting with my immediate and broader professional learning network. As a Google Apps for Education school, we've been using the Hapara suite of tools for a number of years now. Hapara has offered us a lot of benefits for our teachers. However, I think one of the most interesting and powerful features is the ability to deploy Google Sites to each of our students as an ePortfolio solution. And then as a teacher, having access and insight via Teacher Dashboard right at our fingertips. So, why would a district, a school or a teacher want to use ePortfolios with their students? Well, to me, it's all about increasing student agency. If you give an ePortfolio to a student and then you give them the space and time to reflect and develop their metacognitive skills, you'll soon start to notice that they start to think more deeply about their learning. An ePortfolio is also a great way of curating evidence of assessment, whether that might be for learning, as learning, of learning, or however you wish to use it in your teaching and learning cycle. It's a nice way of capturing all of this data. A personal ePortfolio also helps give a sense of identity to students particularly if they have a level of choice and autonomy over the content that is displayed on the ePortfolio and they are able to put their own branding and really communicate to the viewer who they are in the school community. And finally, another good reason for using ePortfolios with students is that by using them over time, you will start to see in a nice visual format how the student is progressing in a developmental sense and their achievements across the curriculum. So, using Hapara Teacher Dashboard, you can generate these Google Sites for each of your students. This involves designing a template, and through the admin side of Hapara, running a script so that each site is automatically copied with the appropriate permissions for each student. The guide is available at this address from the Hapara support site. It's really easy to use and follow, and it's actually quite impressive in how this makes Google Sites as an ePortfolio solution really easy because you don't have to worry about students starting a site from scratch. You know that they're going to have the right sections that you need. They don't have to manually copy a template and follow instructions, etc. So literally, in the space of an hour, you can have your sites available to your students. So to give you an idea of what a student ePortfolio might look like, here is our template we designed. As you can see, it's quite plain and boring, but once students receive theirs, they're able to edit the site to customise the look and feel of their own individual space. This, is, this here is a student's home landing page and you can see the sections and the headings of their ePortfolios across the top menu. Let me take you through some of these and show you what they look like for different students. So we have an About Me page. This really is a space to tell their story about who they are and what makes them tick. And this part I think is really important in giving that student identity to the wider audience. A goals page where long and short term goals are set in a curriculum area in partnership between the student, parent and teacher. And it could also include any extracurricular interests of that particular student. A reflection journal, which is an announcements page that students use to reflect on tasks, subject areas, or how they're progressing on their learning. A showcase page where students can display from different curriculum areas the work that they're most proud of, whether that might be a project or a writing sample, or a link to a uh, file or video inside their Google Drive, the viewer can come along and click on these links and open these files directly. So not only can Hapara generate a Google Site template for each of your students to use, but you can also attach it to Dashboard so you gain insight into all ePortfolios in your class on just one page. I think this is extremely useful as a teacher because it means I don't have to go and bookmark individual sites or go hunting and clicking through every URL that my students give me. And I can view my students' updates right here inside Dashboard and moderate their activity if necessary. So here is an example of a class. And what you see here are the students' ePortfolios. One of the really nice things about this viewer is that I can see at a glance the name of the page that has been created or edited, and also the time that the event took place. 
So this is really useful if I've set an expectation with my students that their reflection post is due at a certain time, or if they were to update their goals page, I knew that that would have taken place at a certain time. And if I wanted to jump to a page in question, I simply need to click on any of these links and that page will open up in my browser window. So as you can see at your fingertips, you can gain some very valuable insight and access to your students' ePortfolios if you set them up through Hapara Teacher Dashboard following the user guide. And by giving ePortfolios to your students, you have a lot of opportunities to increase student agency in your classroom. For more information on ePortfolios for personal learning, you can check out my blog. I have a journal article that I wrote on this very topic, and you can check out some of my workshop presentations and materials on ePortfolios within the Google Apps for Education suite. Both of these links can be found in the description section of this video just below. Hope that's been useful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.